Hi, my name is Talia Almodovar. Uh, I am originally from New York City, but now I live in the sunny state of Florida. Miami, because us Floridians, we don't like to be, like me personally, I don't like to say that I, I live in Florida. I live in Miami. Miami is different from Florida, which is, I know it sounds crazy because everybody's like, Miami is in the state of Florida. But, but Miami is a totally different uh, like country, I feel like. Right now, I am, I what I've always been doing my whole entire life, pretty much since I graduated uh, high school, is been makeup. And uh, now, thank God, I'm a celebrity makeup artist. Uh, I work with uh, a lot of celebrities like Carol G, Renati Natacha, Jolie Randi, Bad Bunny, they're all in the Latin group musically. Uh, but yeah, that's what I, I do now. I'm, I'm a celebrity makeup artist. I've always loved makeup because I like to paint, I like to draw. It's always been in me. My father painted as well, so it's in my genes. And uh, makeup for me is therapeutic. And, and makeup honestly changes people's lives, people's, it helps with depression, it helps with it. Makeup is, is honestly, it's like magic. To think the Egyptians when they did it, you know? And back in the days when we, we just did makeup just to put makeup, now makeup is an art. It's beautiful, and and all the brands and 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 there's so many people that have become these big makeup houses and and influencers. Uh, I I think it's great. It's amazing. So uh, my first surgery uh, was my breast augmentation, and honestly, the reason I did it was just to feel uh, comfortable with myself and to feel complete and to feel what I felt inside was that I'm a woman. My pronouns are she, her, miss. Anything that has to do with a female, that's honestly how I feel. Uh, I, I've always felt like a woman. I've always thought like a woman. For me, I am a woman. Like, and, and a lot of people, a long time ago, I, I never liked to say I was a trans woman because I, I just, I didn't feel like a woman, I didn't feel like a man, I didn't feel like a trans woman, I just felt like me. And if that implied me being very extremely feminine, I've always been like that my whole entire life. My surgeries have been not to look like any celebrity because a lot of people thought that I got surgeries to look like Kim Kardashian. Look at me now, years have passed, I don't think I look like Kim Kardashian, you know? It was just honestly the dark hair, I loved her style, but I never had surgery to look like anyone. My surgeries have been, I got my breast augmentation twice. Uh, I got a, a BBL and I got my sex for assignment surgery uh, eight years ago in Quebec, Canada. It was, uh, I will never forget, it was uh, January 5th and it was freezing in Canada. Oh, I'm so bad. But it was, it was a beautiful experience. I felt like I was uh, reborn that day. So all the surgeries that I've, I've done have honestly been just to whatever it is that I feel inside, project the outside and see that woman that I always felt like I was in the mirror. That was it. So there's a lot of stigma when it comes to trans women and uh, it's sad because, you know, I feel like Hollywood especially and the media has uh, portrayed us trans women for many, many years as being disgusting, as being highly sexualized, promiscuous. And uh, I'm not I'm not that at all. I'm very ladylike. Uh, and uh, honestly, even though I look sexy and, uh, you know, I'm flirtatious, I'm just Latina. I'm passionate, you know? I'm, I have charisma. But really, 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 I, I'm not as promiscuous as people think I am. I'm not the type to have one night stands. Don't get me wrong, I've had them. In my early 20s, I was dipping in and doing it and, you know, meeting men. But now in, in my 30s, you know, starts to like slow down more. And I'm not, I'm not that promiscuous woman. I believe in love. I've had a long-term relationship, that's another thing. Or, or they think that the men that we date are gay, and that's not true. Like, uh, yes, I have met a lot of men that yes, they are gay, or, or yes, they are bisexual, and they feel attracted to me. But there's a lot of straight men out there that have been also with women. I know a lot of cis women that have been with bisexual men, you know? 
and or that don't even know that they're with bisexual men. So, so I just feel like I have to filter out because I know what I like and I prefer a man that loves me for being the woman that I am and not a fantasy because a lot of men tend to have trans women and, and have them as an object, a secret or a fantasy. And I, I feel like when you let a man do that to you once, that's it. Even before my, my transition, I never let a man treat me like I was his secret, his fantasy, or his sex toy. I always I tell my trans sisters, people treat you the way you let people treat you, and the way you carry yourself, and the way you express yourself. So I just feel like a lot of people have these stigmas of trans women, but don't really get to know trans women, or don't even know trans women. So for everyone that's out there, get to know people before you judge people. All trans women are have their own personalities and we all live differently and feel differently. And uh, a lot of people think that us trans women are like these aliens, I know what people think, you know? Or these people, a lot of people have like this stigma or stereotypes that all transgender women are the same. It's impossible. It's like all men and all women are not the same. You know, we're all different. I can only speak for myself and the experiences that I've had as a trans woman, but I've, I've had people, uh, you know, right away just ask me about surgery instead of getting to know me. Or so, uh, what's in between your legs? You know, I know like there's a lot of trans women that haven't got the, the sex reassignment surgery. And I know there's a lot of trans women that don't want to get sex reassignment surgery, and I respect that. But I just don't understand why people are so fixated and so like, and, and they're not even asking, you know, who are you as a person? I also feel like nowadays there's a lot of people that are, are against us trans women because they feel like that there's an agenda or they're trying to get into your kids or your homes or and, and it, it me personally it, it's it's been hard for my mother and my family to accept the woman that i am and uh it's still a work in progress to this day it, it it's been a little better with them but i know a lot of family members that have thrown out their, their teen, trans, and gay, lesbian kids out in the street. Uh, a lot of it has to do with ignorance. A lot of it has to do with religion. And it's just so sad because I, I just, I'm never going to understand how a lot of religious people could preach about love and preach about God and say God is love and, and give your back to your child that you birthed. For me, it's, 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 a, it's a touchy subject because it it hits close to home because I just, I, I just don't, I, I can't wrap my head around how is it that there are mothers and fathers that just like disown their, their kids. And and I just think that it, it's, it's so sad, you know? But then there's uh, parents that their kids are drug addicts and drug dealers, and, but the worst, same is, is if a child is, is gay and, and, and it just, uh, I, honestly, it was hard. It was hard for me because I didn't have my family, but you build your own family, you know? There are some times, it, it's like kids that are adopted, you know? They don't know their birth mother their entire life, but their 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 adopted mother is their mother. And and, and it's not who, who who gives you birth, it's more who gives you the love and who's there for you when you need them. And I honestly have to say, I have a strong group, my camp, my army, that are like my family, that are friends of mine, that honest to God, I am so lucky, that have helped me through the way, when I'm depressed, when I'm sad. Wow, I'm, I'm so grateful. That's why I always say, you need to find really good people Friends could be anyone. I mean solid people that could stand next to you. I've had friends for 15, 16, even 20 years that are, were like a rock. And they have helped me and they've been like complete, like family to me. So I'm lucky enough that everyone that I have in my life 
has been has been very helpful and has been an amazing support.